I just put out this blue colander as a bird feeder setup and the birds are are cautious but they've been checking it out. They'll land briefly, check it out, and then usually move on pretty quickly. They haven't learned to trust it yet but we do have uh, some wonderful excitement around the two different types of bird feeders. And there's a little baby black squirrel. They're smaller than their their parents. It's definitely on the smaller side. So when I start to see the squirrels, the baby squirrels come and visit the bird feeder, I know that spring is coming. I'm just always so delighted to look out there and see what the bird seed is attracting. Um, I did add a second colander type feeder which I designed to give equal access to the squirrels because they were just dumping the bird feeder that was there which was not squirrel proof. But isn't that cute? Isn't that an adorable black squirrel? And I know that some areas uh, only have red squirrels or gray squirrels but we seem to have a mix and uh, I'm just delighted by by all the new little babies that come visit. I think uh, even better than the plants in your garden are the animals that, that show up. The other thing about spring is I start to see lots more varieties of birds. This seems like an ideal feeder for a blue jay. They're a little bit too big to hang on the other bird feeder. And there's our squirrel friends. Little mini squirrels. So far it's been a big hit. I put it up yesterday and, and the birds are just getting used to it. They have to learn to trust a new, a new way of feeding. But it's uh, very easy to do um, and very popular in the garden. I like the way it looks too. I think it looks really nice. So I just wanted to show you how well that's doing and also just tell you how easy it is to make this kind of feeder. You just set it in a wreath form and attach the wreath form to uh, a hanging chain. You can buy it separately or use it from a pot you have. This is a close-up of the hook. But it's just, it's, a, it's meant for hanging plants. But of course you can repurpose anything. So that's it guys, my new colander bird feeder. And I also wanted to mention, uh, these are really popular in my garden during the winter. I have gotten a few low pots, I think I have about three now, and they're winter proof. It doesn't matter if the water freezes, they won't break. But these are just repurposed frying pans. So um, I do like to use those too. So I am thinking of my bird friends and my squirrel friends and I'm noticing lots of different activity stepping up as we get closer to spring. Thanks so much for watching guys and I hope you have a chance to make one of these in your garden. It's been a big hit in mine.